Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to take few examples on Turing machine. But before we start, a small information I'd like to say. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. Before we start the examples on Turing machine, you must know that Turing machine is invented by Alan Turing in 1936. We know that any Turing machine is defined by these seven tuples Q, Sigma, Tau, Delta, Q0, B and F. Here Q0 is a non-empty set of states, Sigma is a non-empty set of symbols, Tau is a non-empty set of tape symbols. Delta is the transition function, Q0 is the initial state, B is the blank symbol and F is the final state. Now we are going to design a Turing machine with input symbol 0 and 1 that will begin with 1. Now the strings that begin with 1 will look like this. It means after 1 anything of 0 and 1 may come till a blank comes. So the starting symbol is supposed to be the 1 and the Turing machine comes to accept and hold state if the starting symbol of the string is 1 and otherwise it should come to reset and hold. We need to move the read write head to the right if the first symbol is a 1 and we must go to another state that is accept state and it must hold there. And if the first symbol is not 1 then we must move right and again come to a state that is halt and reset. If the first symbol is 1, we should keep on moving right till the first blank appears. Let us say that our string contain 1, 0, 1, 1 and our read right head or the tape head is pointing to 1. So we are at state Q0. On 1, we are going to another state that is Q accept state. We are reading 1 and 1 I am writing in that, that particular location and I am moving right. And let us see the instantaneous description. Initially I was at Q0 and my string was 1011. After the execution I will come to a state Q except with 011 yet to be traversed. Now my head is pointing to 0. So what I will do? I will write 0 in that particular location and move right as R is written here. Now the instantaneous description will be like this. 0 will come to this side. It will be remaining in the same Q except state and still two alphabets yet to traverse. Now the next symbol is 1. So if I am reading 1, I will write 1 onto the state and I will move right. So it will be looking like this and the instantaneous description will be like this that I have already traversed 0, 1, 0. I am still there in Q except state. One more symbol to be traversed. So one I am reading and writing in that particular location. Again I am moving to its right. So my head will be pointing to the blank. If I am getting a blank also I need not do anything. I need to be there in that particular location and I will move right. As the first blank appeared, I need to stop there because already this is in Q accept state. Now if the first symbol is 0, then it's supposed to come to one more state that is Q reject state. We'll see that in our next example. Now we need to design a Turing machine over 0 and 1 that ends with 1. Now the string that ends with 1 will look like this. Whatever may be there at the beginning but at last we must have a 1. It means the starting symbol can be either 0 or 1 and the Turing machine comes to accept and hold state if the string has only one alphabet that is 1 and the Turing machine comes to accept and hold if the last symbol is 1. Otherwise, it comes to 
reject and halt state. Now let us think from the read write point of view. I will keep on moving right till the first blank space is found. And after finding the first blank space, I suppose to move towards it left. And now if the input symbol in the string is 1, then I will move right and accept with halt. Otherwise I will move right with reject with halt. Let us see my string contains 0, 0, 1, 1. It is ending with 1. Now I am at state Q0 and if a 0 appeared, what I will do? I will write 0 onto the tab and I will move right. So the instantaneous description will be like this. I am at state Q0 and my string is 0, 0, 1, 1. So after this execution, I'll be same there in Q0 state and the string to be traverses 0, 1 and 1. Now the next symbol is a 0. Still, I'll be in the same state and write 0 onto the tape and I'll start moving right. So my instantaneous description also will look like this. Now the next symbol that I got is a 1. So I'll read 1 from the tape and write 1 onto the tape and then I will start moving right. The instantaneous description will be like this. I have already traversed 0, 0, 1 and I am in the state Q0. One more symbol 1 to be traversed. Now the next symbol 1 appeared here. I am going to write it in the tape and I am going to move right. Now I am at state Q0 and the input symbol I am having is B. So I am going to state Q1 and if I am getting a B, I will write a B onto the tape and I will move left. So I am going to its left. Now see the instantaneous description. I am having 0, 0, 1. I am in state Q1 and next symbol to be traversed is 1. So it is right now it is about to read this last symbol. So what I'll be having? I'm going to another state that is Q except because I have already come to the last, gone back and checked the previous symbol to be one. If it is one, again I am moving right and say that the string is accepted. So this one again I am going to write it there and I'm going to move towards this right and this is the Q accept state. Now you can see on Q0 with 0 and 1 transition I have defined. With blank also I have defined. Similarly on Q1, 1 transition is defined but the blank and 0 transition is not defined. So what happens if at all if I am getting to the last but last but 1 is a 0 then obviously it's supposed to come to the reject state. If the first transition that I am getting in between is again a blank symbol, I will move to its right and come to the reject state. At least one symbol, either 0 or 1 supposed to be there at the beginning. If it is blank, it is supposed to go to the reject. And after the first blank, if the previous symbol is a 0, I must be rejecting it. Because the end symbol is supposed to be 1. So before the blank symbol, Whatever symbol I am getting, it's supposed to be 1 in order to get is accepted. Now let us take one more example. Design a Turing machine over 0, 1, 1 that begins and ends with 1. So if you have understood the first two examples, this will be easy. The first example says how to start with 1. The second example says how to end with 1. Now it is a combination of both of it. So the first symbol and the last symbol is supposed to be 1. So at least the string length is supposed to be 2. The starting symbol is 1. And the Turing machine comes to an accept and halt state if the first and last symbols are 1. Otherwise it comes to reset and halt. Let us talk about the movement of the read right head. I will move towards the right if the first alphabet is 1. Otherwise, I will move right and go to the reject and halt state because the first alphabet is supposed to be 1. Now, I will keep on moving till the first blank appears and I will move towards his left after the first blank and if the current symbol is 1, 
I'll accept and hold. Otherwise, I'll reject and hold. Now let us try to understand this. Let us have the string 1011. So the first step is I am at Q0. On receiving 1 from the input tape, I'll write 1 to the tape and I'll move right. So first symbol 1 I got. So the instantaneous description will be like this. I was at Q0 and my string was 1, 0, 1 and 1. After this, I'll go to state Q1 and yet to be traversed 0, 1 and 1. Now, my read write head is pointing to 0. Uh, so I'm reading 0. I'll write 0 to the same location and I'll start moving towards it right. So the instantaneous description will be like this. I'll be remaining in the same state and till to be traversed 1 and 1. So I'll be remaining in the same state Q1 if I read one more 1. So I'll write 1 to the tape and I'll start moving right. Again, I'll be in the same state Q1 and one more 1 need to be traversed. I'll write 1 in the particular location and again I am going to move right. My head is now pointing to a blank. So what I'll do? If it is a blank, I'll write blank over there and move towards its left. So if I am moving towards its left, I'll now check whether the last symbol is 1 or not. Now my input symbol contains 1. So if I am having 1 there, I'll write 1 and move towards its right and go to the Q accept state. So this is what the instantaneous description says. And the rest of the thing, if instead of 1, if I am getting a 0, obviously it's supposed to be a reject state. Or if it is a blank, it's supposed to be a reject state. Now, after the first blank, if I am getting a 0, then obviously it's supposed to be a reject state. After first blank, it's supposed to be a 1 because it is the last character of the particular string. Now you can see that at all the state, for all the input symbols I have described. So that's why I say a Turing machine is a deterministic one. I hope you understood these three examples. If you understood, give me a like and say it among your friends. In our next video, we are going to talk about few more examples on Turing machine. See you then. Take care. Bye.